only recommend those. Um, I guess we can start, go ahead, start replying with the restricteds that you want me to use, and I'll open up a poll and go. Just, I'll hang out and wait. But yeah, um, so far I'm really loving this format. I think this is a very, very fun format. We see Lunala, we see Lugia. Uh, I really don't want to use Lugia, but if you guys vote for it, I'll use it. I, I think Lugia is so, so mid. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, cool, or Soul Liquid. Normal Necrozma? Oh god, that'd be crazy. Uh, I'd love to see you use Zamazen to be useful, since you think it can. I have, actually. There's a video on my channel where I, I talk about it, but I haven't used it on video yet because um, I want to save it for a tournament. I probably just spoiled a spread on the Zamazenta, but that's whatever. That's whatever. Dialga Trick Room. Um, is this one restricted? No, it's two restricted, but I but we're only voting on one restricted because that's how I kind of choose the second restricted. Taitoki, how you doing? Calyrex Ice, Xerneas. Uh, okay, all right. I think we have a, a decent amount. I'm going to go ahead and begin the poll. Go ahead and get any last minute ideas in there uh, if you have any. Uh, but Reshiram, okay. So uh, what restricted are we building today? Responses, uh, put Reshiram. If I could type. This is always an issue. I'm a horrible typer. Typist? I think that's the word. Uh, Lunala. Xerneas, um, Hiram, Hiram Ice, I, I don't know if I'll put Kiram Ice on there, I don't think that's going to be fun to build, um, what else was there, there was Reshiram, Lunala, Xerneas, there was Necrozma, Base, <laughs> I'm willing to try that one out, I don't think Kiram Base is going to work at all, but Necrozma Base could be kind of interesting. Does VMAX or does GMAX uh, Venusaur count as, as a restricted? I, I suppose you could kind of count it as, as a restricted, but I, I don't think it is. Uh, and I, what is it? We have like one more. Oh yeah, Lugia. Lugia was the last one. All right, the poll will last two minutes. You may begin voting. If you don't know how to vote, it is in the chat. If you're on mobile, just click the chat button and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to vote there. Whenever I get congested, like my left eye dries up. It's always like my left nostril that gets like blocked off and then my left eye turns reddish or pinkish. But yeah, uh, right now I'm a little bit congested. It's been getting better. Today's like been the best of the days. I'm just slowly clearing up. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. My goal is to um, fill this, fill this uh, water bottle up twice a day and drink all of it. I actually got some stickers on there that I got for Christmas. I'm a big JoJo's fan, if you didn't know. Okay. So, it looks like Lunala is... Or is Necrozma base forms at 26... Guys, please. I don't want to use that, but... um. All right, looks like other things are, are picking up, but oh my God, that was a lot of votes for Necrozma base form, like all at once at the beginning. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? But let's see how much time is left in this poll. We have like a little over a third left of it. Now we're at like a third of the time left for the poll. Every other restricted, uh, Moxie has a chance of winning. <laughs> Dude, I wish Ultra Necrozma still existed, but it'd be so busted in this format. Right, actually, I guess maybe Ultra Necrozma's main draw was the, the max move. Or not the max move, but the Z move. Um, so, yeah. Alright, guys. I, I need you to save me from Necrozma winning. We got, like... <laughs> Necrozma's, like, four points ahead of Xerneas. I'd rather use that trash Xerneas than I would Necrozma. So, someone please save me. We got, like, a couple of points. Come on. Someone someone just hop in and stop that. Oh, God. So, someone hop in and stop me from having to use the worst restricted possible. Uh, and it's Necrozma. Okay, so... So, um... Necrozma just won the poll. And it isn't even, like, a good Necrozma. It's it's the worst Necrozma. Actually, no. I would argue that the worst Necrozma is Necrozma Don Wings. Maybe we have a fighting chance with this, but... Okay. Okay, uh, let's... let's I guess we're doing this. Series, uh, I keep, not Doubles Little Cup. Dude, Necrozma could work in Doubles Little Cup, just saying. Let me open up, uh, Pigalytics. Not, 
that. Picolytics. I could... Picolytics. There we go. I could type right. You open up the damage calc and the new link. There we go. Okay. Do I think worse than base Necrozma is base Calyx? That's true. That's true. I have Necrozma isn't watching the stream. Yeah, I don't want to insult him to his face, I guess. Hyper Axe, uh, or Hype Axe contributed 175 bits, and Yidui contributed 1,600 channel points. You guys really wanted your thing to win. I don't know what you guys voted for. Hype, what did you vote for? And Yidui, what did you vote for? Because I don't know. Um, I'd love to know what you guys were so passionate about. But Necrozma. So Necrozma is, is an interesting restricted, um, because you could argue he's not done yet. He's like the, the Pokemon... He's like the legendary Pokemon that you left in the Easy Bake Oven for like five seconds too too short, uh, or like five minutes rather. Uh, but yeah, Necrozma, yeah, Necrozma's the, the restricted that you left in the Easy Bake Oven too too little time. And um, yeah, he's just I, I don't know what to do with him. I I could try to run like a Meteor Beam set, like Power or Meteor Beam might be good. And obviously, if I'm gonna make this guy work, he's got to be next to Zacian. Like, there's no chance I'm gonna get anything going with him if I'm not running this set. Uh, are these two together? Maybe... Okay, I, I have an idea. Expanding Force. Meteor Beam. I'm gonna put Ndidi on this team. Because I think that's the only way it's gonna work. Because Necrozma can take a hit. He can obviously take a hit. Can I one-shot Incineroar with this guy? That's what I'm mainly concerned about, actually. Let me... I hate that this thing happens. Um, sometimes a little white bar shows up at the bottom of the Picolytics damage calc, and I don't know why it does that, but it's annoying. All right, so Necrozma, Incineroar. Well, calc versus the 236, 236 that we see so much. Um, I'm going to go Modest, probably. And I'm going to want to run Meteor Beam. How much is my Meteor Beam doing? So that's... Okay. It would be at plus one, wouldn't it? Is that Calcium plus one? It's not. Okay. So, plus one special attack. Can I KO this thing with, like, max? You guys are killing me. <laughs> you guys are killing me with this. It doesn't Oko. It straight up doesn't Oko. You know Lunala can Oko this thing, right? Okay. It doesn't Oko. Uh, I suppose I have to max it out regardless, um, or come close to, but if that's the case, we have to begin with, uh, we have to be, we have to begin with defensive calcs more than anything, uh, on Necrozma. So I'm going to be running Expanding Force, Meteor Beam, I don't think I want speed in this guy, obviously like Soft Trick Room is going to be decent on this guy, uh, and I think we can run Protect. You guys really just made me use this Pokemon. I I, I hate you guys so much. I, I am going to uh, I, I, I am going to ban all of you. Okay. Uh, the most important defensive cal clearly is going to be the Shadow Calyrex, and these things are typically Life Orb. I think. Um, maybe I can run Sassy. <laughs> maybe I run like a. Maybe I actually run like a zero speed Necrozma. I do have a zero speed Necrozma I could use for this team if I make it in game. Uh, but let's see. Okay, I can tank a, a, an Astro Barrage. I can tank an Astro Barrage. I could even run Modest if I really wanted to. Yeah, that's that's not bad, and I still get good special attack out of that. That's that's not terrible. Uh, physically defensive, I'm certain I can take a freaking hit from Zacian. Yeah, that's easy. I, I just eat Behemoth Blades. Um... That almost makes me want to run like a berry on this guy. Uh. Okay. Okay. So the positives of this guy is he should naturally outspeed most Incineroar. Because a lot of Incineroar, um, is one, if it's 236, 236, and the most speed they can run is 36, which puts him at 85. And I'm at 99 with no investment, so I'm, I'm going to always outspeed Incineroar, so that's nice. Um, yeah, helping him Meteor Beam can absolutely destroy Incineroar, which would be really good. What's up, Moxie Boosted? Have you already picked all the members of the squad? No, I got... My my viewers here, my lovely viewers, have voted that I have to use base form Necrozma. And that that's that's terrifying. Hey, Tactical Knowledge, how you doing? 
That is just terrifying. Okay. Uh, I think I want to run Modest. What what other things do you have to live defensively? And we'll just look at the Series 11 stuff and figure that out. Kyogre. Obviously, I think I take a Kyogre hit if I take a freaking... <laughs> if, I, if I eat a hit from Calyrex Shadow Rider, I eat a freaking Water Spot from Kyogre. Okay, apparently I'm wrong. Apparently I don't. Uh, that's an issue. Let's go with... Uh, do I have to go sassy now, or can I just take this? That's not a fun thing to have to tank. Maybe I do go sassy. Mirror V, thanks for the sub, bro. Okay. I'm gonna get this as low as I can. Basically, I want to live on 99. That might not be the best, but it's not like this thing is gonna get faked out. No, I'm not running that. I'm running careful. Calm. Um, can I still KO and incineroar with this spread if I get helping handed? Plus one with a helping hand. Meter beam. Yeah, I can KO and incineroar with this. Okay. That's that's a guaranteed KO. Assault vest? Nah, this thing needs protect and stuff. Okay, that'll work. Maybe I just do that, um, and that wouldn't be terrible. That that might not be bad. Like, I hit 100, which isn't a great speed tier. Uh, and I, I, like, eat hits from, like, everything. So that's kind of cool. Uh, how well do I eat the Zacian hit now? Okay, I eat the hit, um, 116. Okay, so with 116 defense... I like e easily eat that. Uh, obviously, I want an Incineroar in this team. Give me my Incineroar. I'm gonna steal a Zacian spread from a previous team. If you need to know what the Zacian does, um, shut up. <laughs> that's 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 what I'm gonna say. You guys may be using a Krasma. I'm not happy about it, but it just, just shut up, you know. All right, Sash. Uh, there's not really many status moves going around right now, so I'm pretty comfortable just running Sash on that guy. I don't really need safety goggles or anything. Uh, 236. 236, 236. When in doubt, run the funny version, or run the funny Incineroar. Uh, four attack. No, oh, hold on. What was the spread? Uh, careful Incineroar. And I don't need this thing to be slow, so I'm not going to run zero speed. I'm going to run my uh, 28 spread. Why is the attack zero? Come on. There we go. Obviously, uh, fake out, snarl, parting shot, flare blitz is like standard on this dude. Vanilla bean necrozma. Dude, I am using... <laughs> what, what am I using? I'm using like non-dairy necrozma. I don't know how to describe it. Sugar-free necrozma. That's what we're going to call him that. His, his name is sugar-free necrozma. Sugar free Necrozma. There we go. All right. Obviously, um, this is like a soft trick room team. Uh, I could run like a Glacier on this guy. It wouldn't be that bad. I, that wouldn't be that bad, actually, now that I think about it. Um, the base Necrozma is punishment for chat not wanting to see him use Mandibuzz ever. That's true. That's true. Okay, I definitely need some like good damage output since I'm running freaking Necrozma as my other restricted. <laughs> Uh, I could, I could probably, not Calyrex, but I think I could justify a Glacier here. Um, I think I, maybe Regieleki. Definitely Regieleki, actually. Regieleki could be good. And I think I go Glacier. And for Glacier, I probably want to run it like I'm running a Calyrex, but worse. Do I run Babiri? I don't know if I run Babiri. Okay. Uh, we'll go with Sash here because Sash... I, I would normally run Magnet, but... Oh, wait. The Sash is on the Indeedy, so I am running Magnet. Never mind. Uh, Magnet. I'm going to run my Volt Switch. I'm going to run my Electro Web. Actually, I put Electro Web first because that is typically best in the first slot in case you run out of time. I think Regieleki is one of the rare Pokemon where you get less out of uh, Protect than you get out of Electro Web. In terms of, like, auto-selection. Then HP, actually. Um, 
I'm kind of torn if I want to run um, Babiri or if I want to run like what 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 is my other option? If I if I run Babiri, I live the hit from Zacian. I can probably KO it back with like an with like an Adamant um, or a Brave attack. I can also run Steel Spike. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. Since I can't run Protect or since I can't run Trick Room, I could definitely run. Um, do I run Heavy Slam on this guy? I run Heavy Slam even though it's like not great as a as a move when things are Dynamaxed. It's better than Smart Strike in my opinion, even though you know, you know Smart Strike hits Dynamax. Uh, obviously, I want um, this is a certified Glacial Lance moment. I wish I had that, but yeah, Ice Go Crash and uh, I Haunts Power, and I think I'm gonna run Babiri. Babiri just guarantees an every dietization in one hit. And I think I, I should be able to deal some like decent damage to Zacian if I do that. Because let me think. So Zacian, uh, I'm not Life Orb. I'm Babiri. Actually, you're Babiri. Yeah, and I one shot it back like just naturally, and that's kind of crazy. Um, so I don't, I don't even need the Helping Hand this thing. It just naturally one shots. I was thinking I might need a helping hand like a max quake or something, but yeah, that's kind of cool. In fact, under under like and I don't even need the Dynamax to KO it, and that's kind of awesome. Okay, uh, this this might work. It's it's obviously not ideal, but it's it's something. Zero. I want to run a bold nature. Actually, not bold. Uh, relaxed. And I want to run psychic surge. Uh, obviously, Expanding Horse, Protect, Follow Me, Helping Hand. And that's really all this thing needs. You can run this thing the same way on 100% of teams and it'll still do work. Maybe I run Shadow Ball uh, to help out with the Calyrex Shadow Rider matchup since I hard wall it. But I don't think it's necessarily uh, needed because it's not like it ever hits me and I can probably KO it with Expanding Force after a couple of hits. Oh man, I hate that you guys made me do this. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, do I run zero speed in this guy? I don't think I do if I'm running four freaking speed here. Uh, I do have the potential to outspeed certain Pokemon if I ran more speed, but I, don't, I really don't need the zero speed in this guy. I'm always going to be under speeding things like Palkia. Actually, am I? Let me, let me check. Let me check real quick. That's the main thing I want to know. Because Palkia sometimes runs like 4 speed, right? But if they weren't running 4 speed, if they ran 0... Okay, if they're running 0 speed, like, relaxed... Not relaxed, but like, you know, 0 speed slow, I'm not going to outspeed it. Or I'm not going to underspeed it, but I don't really need to. I like hard wall Palkia. Kinda. About as about as hard wall as you could hard wall Palkia. Anyways, let's, let's go on to my alt, because I'm like mid-ladder on my main, and I'd rather not succumb to bad Pokemon on my main. But okay. <laughs> expanding horse. Yes, I said expanding horse. I'm currently running ZZ Top. Uh, I like the advice you gave me. Hey, thank you. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to hit the ladder. If you guys uh, appreciate the fact that I'm putting myself through this, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it, it lets me survive in the world. It gives me food in my belly. All right, uh, let's, let's do a quick overview of the team, I suppose, since you guys did this to me. And let me go full screen as well. That's not it. There we go. Okay, quick team overview. I am running a base Necrozma with max HP, enough special defense to take a water spout from uh, Modest Mystic Water Kyogre, as well as a Calyrex Shadow Rider Astro Barrage, and set up Trick Room in their face, and hopefully do something with like Expanding Force Meteor Beam. I'm also always gonna be faster than opposing Incineroar, so I can Helping Hand Meteor Beam those things for quick KOs. I have a super bulky Zacian um, crown, which the fact that I'm running like soft trick room on this thing allows me to go for trick room in the face of opposing Zacian and always win the speed tie. Or not win the speed tie, but outspeed them under trick room. Uh, but also I'll be able to Reggie like them once and then we'd outspeed them. So that's an alternative option. Uh, we have Focus Sash and Didi, standard, standard uh, Citrus Berry and Cinema. Uh, Magnet Reggie like he's standard and we have a Berry Berry Glacier with a standard moveset um, But the item is not standard because we can one-shot opposing Zacian with this now So yeah Let's do it guys 
I it took everything in me to click that battle button. I'm not gonna lie, it took so much in me to click the battle button. What do you mean I can't fit sugar free necrozma? All right. There we go, sugar free. Actually, let me let me name the team first. There we go, sugar free necrozma. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, uh, this is a team that I have been pushing. Uh, Ray Zacian. I'm a big proponent of Ray Zacian. I think it's great. However, this is ironically one of the few matchups where we do really, really good versus everything. And Necrozma is somehow very solid here, and I don't know how that happened. How did that happen? How did they let this happen? Um, yeah, I can set up a trick room versus them pretty easily. I'm going to go Indeedee, Sugar Free Necrozma. I'm going to bring my Incineroar, obviously. And I think my last Pokemon, I could bring Zacian, but honestly, like, Glacier does the work here. That feels weird, overlooking Glacier. That's what happens when you have weird Pokemon. You have to start clicking worse Pokemon than what you wanted, because all of a sudden, that's the correct option. Like, what, what happened where that's the correct option? Like, I hate that. Okay, let's follow me Trick Room, and then I can get in Glacier, and then it's, like, kind of over, I think. Thunder Cage? I don't mind as long as you KO me. Here's the meteor beam. Yeah, I literally don't care. Check it. Check it. Um, I don't need Dynamax yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Expanding Force. I'm gonna go for the Expanding Force because it allows me to always KO the Rayquaza. I'm not gonna Dynamax yet because I might need to Dynamax my Necrozma. Alright, that literally doesn't save you. Alright, uh, it's not Focus Sash, so I can just Dynamax here. And it will KO. That's fine, I'm a Beery. We're gonna Parting Shot, but I still get this off, and then all of a sudden it's like Expanding Force City. Nothing on his team wants to get Expanding Force, I can't stress that enough. Even though he's gonna switch in the Regieleki, if I connect this and break the Sash, like, nothing on the team takes anything from now on. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm an Expanding Force here. And that plus a max quake, I, I'm fairly certain that will KO the, the Zacian here. Okay, yeah, he can keep lowering my attack, but I, like I keep saying, expanding force is just too much. I think he has to give me the Zacian this turn. If not, something else. Yep, I think he's handing over Zacian. Like, he's forfeiting that. This will KO, I guarantee you. Nice. And I don't feel like I'm in the worst position um, because an expanding force will KO Ray from this position. Uh, the only thing I'm super concerned about is the Incineroar, which could snarl me, obviously. Um, he hasn't Dynamaxed yet, so I'm kind of forced to expanding force this thing and ask a crash. As it seems, he's not going to do that. Interestingly enough, he forgot how Meteor Beam works. Okay, uh, nice throw, bud. Nice throw, I suppose. Yeah, that was interesting. That was, that was interesting. I don't know why he did that. I truly can't explain that. Okay. Why is Sugar Free Necrozma, like, unironically kind of good in this matchup as well? This is actually one of the games where I bring um, Zacian, I think, though. I think I will be going with this lead. I will be going with the Sugar Free Necrozma plus my... Um... Actually, I can absolutely schmoove on this guy if I do this right. I'm going to go Sugar Free Necrozma, Zacian. I'm going to bring the Incineroar in the back, and I'm going to also bring Glacier. You'll understand what I mean in a second if this works out. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm max special defense. I'm going to show you guys this calc real quick. I'm going to show you this real quick. Um, give me a second, give me a second. All right, what am I? I'm 156, 252. Uh, 252, how much time do I have? Can I still show you the calc? I have 30 seconds, yeah. Uh, Kyogre Water Spout. Oh wait, that does KO me. What did I think that didn't KO me? 
Huh. Okay, point is, I get off the trick room. <laughs> point is, I'm gonna get the trick room off. Okay, never mind. That, that didn't work at all. Alright. Uh, I probably just lose this. I'm gonna max Hailstorm the- or actually I max Quake every time. Maybe I don't. Maybe I max Hailstorm here. And I give him this. This probably isn't gonna work. I think I just absolutely threw. I didn't expect him to max turn one. I don't think there was much of a reason to max, all things considered. All right. Now I'm actually not in a terrible position. Um, because I can go for the Quake here on the Kyogre. And I should be able to... Or actually, no. No, maybe I just protect here. And Hailstorm again. No, I, yeah, I Quake and I'm going to Protect. And I'm going to Quake the Indeedee. And that plus one that should let me live a hit from Kyogre, never mind. Okay, it's in the Glacier, that's fine. Okay, I might be able to do this. This is going to be so, so freaking close. Uh, I Max Guard here and I... Eliminate the Whimsicott, because I should survive this turn. The Whimsicott's always going to live this. I lower the damage output from Kyogre with a Behemoth Blade. Or a Play Rough, rather. Because they're just going to freaking Water Spout. If, if the freaking Whimsicott's not Sash, I'm going to lose my mind. It has to be Sash, right? Unless he's Sash and Didi. Okay, I'm going to bank on the Whimsicott not being Sash. It's, it's going to be Sash, though. But that, I think that's the only way I can get this. Okay, I live. Please don't be Sash. Yeah, it's Sash, I figured. <laughs> that was that was like my only out. Um, I'll be honest, that was the only way I was going to do that. Because basically what would have happened is if the Whimsicott wasn't Sash and the Ndidi was where the Sash was, I'd be able to um, Behemoth Blade and possibly win that game. But unfortunately, not today. I hate you, Necrozma. Alright, let's see what we can do. How good is Necrozma here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just like Tailwind Hyper Offense. I can set up a Trick Room in their face pretty easily. Yeah, uh, I can do that. And I think here I actually lead off Incineroar instead of Indeedee, and I bring my Glacier, and my last Mon is going to be the Zacian. Oh, wait, they can help in hand. So here's where I protect and go for my Snarl and hope that they uh, just help in hand here. That was an amateur move right there. Absolute amateur move. I, I okay, well, that's, that's like the only way I lost that. Uh, I'm going to do it again. But now I have to go into this thing, which is unfortunate. Place your tanks. I'm going to get my Snarl off. Yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty annoying. Um, at minus one, I should be able to do this now. Yeah, that was like the worst case scenario. Uh, unfortunately, I have to give him this. I'm going to try to parting shot you. I have to parting shot that thing, ironically. That's fine. Okay, uh, how do I do this? He's obviously not um, Scarf Dracovish because I think that outspeeds Calyrex. Actually, it might not. It might not. I can win this. It's just super unlikely. I go Zacian here and I Trick Room. And hopefully he just attacks the, um, the Zacian with Vicious Ren more than anything. Okay, I eat that up like Reese's Puffs. And he doubles that, so that's how I lose. Okay. Yeah, had I not missed that Snarl, that would have been a win.
in my opinion. Like, you just don't, you don't, they, they played poorly. I'm going to keep it real with you. They, they should not have stayed in with that thing. Um, I can try to win this. It's not going to happen, though. Let me be played this thing, and I'm going to try to, I max hailstorm you. Yeah, no, GG. That was unfortunate. Okay. Um, let me also update the title. Made me use Necrozma. There we go. <laughs> Can you even re legally run non Sash Wim Scott? I mean, Sash Wim Scott's obviously the most popular version of that, but yeah. All right, this is just Palkia. Um, I think Necrozma can do something here. Like, obviously, Trick Room is not good for them. I may go Indeedee Necrozma here. Uh, I'm going to bring my Zacian in the back. Obviously, it's always going to be good here. Actually, no. no I, I bring Glacier. I bring Glacier. And I bring Incin. That's what happens with this team. There are literally situations where I have to pretend Glacier is my other restricted. And that's the sad part. I, this thing's never going to be that good. Quite literally, it's like a downgrade of both Necrozma forms. There's no niche it has other than the speed stat, which I'm like using as like a soft trick room Pokemon anyway, so yeah. Okay. I can pick up a free KO here. And I'm going to do that. If I get this, that'd be great. Because it makes it harder for them to beat Zacian. And then all of a sudden I can like start going for max. Um, unless he like max quakes. But I think he's going to airstream. Uh, or you know if he max flutter buys that'd be worse. But I should be able to pick up a free KO on Incineroar here. Since I should always outspeed. Hey Dynamax please don't airstream. Because then he's going to parting shot first. Okay he quaked and I'm not going to KO this thing anymore. As you can see guys this team just straight up does not work. Yeah, uh, that was not Poggers. Not not Poggers at all. I mean, I can get a Mayan Cinnabar here and I can try to Trick Room. And that could work out. I mean, I can Expanding Force now. Imparting Shot this thing. Oh, I should have Trick Room there. I don't know why I'm throwing so hard right now. I think I'm just getting frustrated with the team. I mean, now I'm just going to trick room. Actually, I should expanding force. I should like always expanding force here. And sadly, I might Dynamax. But I would have to max quake the Amoongus just in case Incineroar came in. All right, hopefully I'm not slower, even though it's a speed die. Oh, this isn't going to KO. Yeah, it didn't work. This team's so bad, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you have to watch this. Um, and There's no way Landorus comes in, so I have to try to max Quake that slot when the Incineroar comes in. If I do get that off, I, I have a chance, but... Yeah. After this game, I'm going to run to the bathroom because this team is literally making me want to like pee my pants. There's the Palkia. Guess it's not the end of the world, as long as I wake up here. I don't wake up, yeah. There's a Lando. Lando's just gonna try to cycle out, I think. Um, I'm gonna protect, and I'm gonna get my Incineroar in the field, because I honestly have to set up the Trick Room now, if I want to win. Okay, he flew there, so I can't fake out the Lando. Uh, hopefully, I still get this KO, because if I don't, we're in trouble. Or hopefully, I still get the Trick Room off, I mean. I'm so flustered with this team that I'm literally, like, messing up basic words. 
Okay, I prevented the trick room, so he prevented the trick room, so that's not great. Um, is this still winnable? Yes. Is it likely? No. I am of the opinion that if he's running these three moves, he definitely has Rock Slide. So he doesn't have Protect, and I can Ice Skull Crash and Snarl. Does he one-shots me? And I don't wake up. GG. Okay, guys, I am going to use the bathroom because I'm actually going to okay. pee my pants. I'm back. Let's keep going. I stream for, if you don't know, I always stream for like two hours, if not close to two hours. Um, so after this first hour of streaming, I am going to make my own team. And that is going to be its own video. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to go to regular team building and regular laddering. After we use this viewer, viewer chosen team. Okay, so this is just um, Sun plus Zacian. I think I can set up Trick Room on this guy uh, and Nana on him with Glacier if I play my cards right. I am going to do it the very standard way. Do I bring my own incinerator? I don't think I do in this game. Okay. So unfortunately, um, we're once again facing off versus incinerator plus a max Airstream user. Which means we probably won't get the KO on him. But, I can try. The KO the Thunderous, actually. Okay, that's not ideal. I could have actually KO'd the Incineroar there. I didn't expect him to switch. Because he taunts me. Um, that's fine, I'm going to KO him now. And he's probably going to Snarl, but I, I pretty much always get the KO on the Incineroar at plus one with Max Rockfall, right? How much is the Max Rockfall? Meteor Beam is 120, Max Rockfall is 140. I'm going to KO here. I'm going to KO here, and I'm, I'm going to live with that, and I'm going to be happy about it. And I should go into Zacian. Obviously, he's just going to Snarl here, and I'm going to lose my boost, but that's fine. I, I got rid of something important, as he didn't Snarl. This man Moonlighted. Fellas, we have a chance. <laughs> we actually have a chance to win this. This is, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. We're actually going to win a game with this awful Pokemon. Okay. Um, no chance you, you protect here. You want to get rid of this guy ASAP. And guess what, buddy? I don't mind if I lose this Umbreon. Or I don't mind if I lose this, uh, this, this sugar-free Necrozma here. Because I am going to KO you with a Max Mindstorm plus a Behemoth Blade. You are not protecting. You think you can KO me, but you can't. Because I thought of that, Calc. Goodbye. 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 Got him. And guess what? He still... He, he still... He still hasn't, uh... <laughs> Yeah, he, he still hasn't protected, or, or he still hasn't targeted down Metacrosma, so I get another KO. Max Rockfall, thank you. Yeah, I don't need anything to, to win this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play rough your Umbreon and get rid of it. I don't care if Zacian goes down, I still win this. 100%. Helping hand, I don't care. That thing's gone. Yeah, I think I won a game finally. Yo! Yo! Okay. I need you to not be Dynamaxed. I'm putting on too much pressure. Alright, wake up. That's fine. His Dynamax is over. Check this out. I'm going to bait him into going for Superpower. And I'll Behemoth Blade and protect this turn. As he has Foul Play, what? What? Hello? No, I win. I win. No chance he win this now. You don't even have Superpower. GG. GG. We got the Necrozma win. We finally did it. That's one. See if we can get more. We're still not at zero points. This team isn't even done yet. Okay. Uh, I mean, X-Ray, uh, interesting. I don't know if it's that good in this format. I don't think it's good at all, in fact. Um, but most of their team loses to this if I get off a of Trick Room. Most of their team just loses if I get off Trick Room, period. Do that. Mercury, thanks for the sub. 
How you doing? You ready to film a podcast today or record a podcast or whatever? Okay. Um, as I stated before, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, win this. I'm going to trick room and I'm actually going to go hard into my Zacian. And that's because I can literally just meteor beam this Volcarona and annihilate it and then annihilate that Xerneas. All right. Don't fiery dance my Zacian. Is he quiver dances? Okay. Get a load of this guy. Uh, now, there's no reason to max move here because I obviously don't want to... There's no reason to meter beam here because obviously I don't want to um, miss. Yeah, it's a little bit risky. Uh, this should KO it. You know what? Let's live on the edge. Let's live on the edge. Check this out. I'm living on the edge. I'm KOing you. Thank you. I think he's about to have a rough time. There's the Incin. Uh, check this out. Peep this one. Not really. Peep this one. No more Incineroar. Uh, I'll go into my DD here. I'm special defensive, so I can easily tank this plus two Moonblast. I just have to get rid of everything around it, and then I win. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I That's what I thought. Go ahead and Dazzling Gleam. Please, Dazzling Gleam effect. No more Incineroar. Uh, yeah, and no, I just KO this Rayquaza now. I'm gonna follow me as well because I don't need to. I don't need to risk this guy. This thing's gone. It's not gone. It's not even close to gone. But now his whole team's gone because I literally just ice go crash and go for the Behemoth Blade. As long as I connect, obviously, like that's a big if. Ice go crash has no reason to be this this inaccurate. Just get rid of the flinch, uh, get rid of the flinch, the flinch chance, and make it 100% accurate, and we have a good move. Okay, I am 100% confident I can take this double up. I am 100% confident I can win this game with this move. I am so confident. Unless of course it's a special Rayquaza, in which case I lose. But if it's physical. Easy win. It's physical. This was an easy win. Under you, Zapple. Thank you so much for the follow. Or for the sub, actually. Thank you for the sub. Uh, I, we, I think we won. I think we won. Yeah, we're too bulky for you. I'm sorry, bud. We're just a little too bulky for you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Unless he has, like, you know, earth power and everything right now. But I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Also, we're on a hype train, right? Now, we're, we're close to a hype train. We're a minute. If someone else subs within a minute, we got the hype train. And also, I have more subs. So, that'd be kind of cool. Why did you protect? What did that do for you? Get out of here. Man, put a Durex on his Rayquaza. That protection isn't saving you from Zacian. No more $19 Incineroar. I'm really proud of this win versus the, the 1,043 opponent. With my awful team. <laughs> yeah, Hype Train works with gifted subs. Alright. I love ZZ Top, but I want to test a dual weather Lugia team. Are you going to do what do weather Lugia? Are you going to run like Torkoal, Lugia, Kyogre? Also, speaking of dual weather, Plusation. Okay. Uh, I, I can win this. I can win this. Am I confident I'm going to win this? No. Do I believe I can win this? Yes. How confident am I that I can win this? Like two. Like It's, it's like a two. Um, I could bring Zacian. Obviously, that could be really good, but I think I get more out of pretending Glacier is a Calyrex right now. Hey, and under your Apple just gifting the subs. Thank you so much. Wait, apparently it doesn't work. Why is it not working? Okay, apparently it doesn't work. 
I was like 99% certain it works with gift subs, but I, apparently it doesn't. But thank you for the for the other for the other subs, I suppose. Um, that was really lame. Why didn't that work? It is literally getting subs. That's dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> because they already oh they were already subbed. That makes sense. Okay. I uh, I mean like I, at the cost of my Indeedy, a trick room doesn't seem too bad. Follow me. Yeah, I don't mind giving him that, that up. That's fine. Um, he's likely not going to expect the Schmeteor Beam. And if I helping hand it, it should KO the the the, the substitute behind the um, behind the uh, light screen that's about to go out. Hopefully this does KO up behind the, the light screen. And not quite. That wasn't great. Alright, uh, let me see what my options here are. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm not going to say it's a good idea, but it's, it's an idea. Um, my Max Quake should KO him at this range, especially if he decides to substitute again. <laughs> I, I truly hope he doesn't. But if I can get rid of the Zacian, I'm fairly confident I can win this with, like, Max Glacier. Well, not fairly confident. Confident enough, you know? Oh, yeah. Critting AV of Eltal is one of the greatest feelings you could have in this game. Alright, he did protect. Uh, so that's something. I lost my special attack. Okay, here's where I absolutely schmoove on this man. Here's where I absolutely schmoove on this man. You ready for this? I'm Babiri Berry. And he is going to Behemoth Blade me. So I get in my Ndidi here. And to minimize the chance... Actually, I should always high horsepower here. Because um, I don't have to spend a turn to Dynamax. Like, there's no point in using the Dynamax turn in this situation. Yep, and I live that. And he should take that personally. And now he should protect. Um, so my play here is I have to... Okay. I'm going to helping hand a max quake into you. Get a special defense boost because he's just going to go right into Kyogre. Yep. Hopefully he's not running foul play. And now I can follow me. And KO the Zacian. And max quake it. Yeah. That, that's fine. That's fine. Because I'm going to get the special defense boost and it's going to make it a lot easier to live this hit. It's going to make it a lot easier to live this. And I am not confident I win this at all. In 10 minutes, we're done with this hellscape that is using the Glacier team, and I can build around what I want to use. Okay, that maybe we're not out of the hellscape yet. Can I get off a Trick Room? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yes, I can get the Trick Room off. Okay, this is going to do a decent amount. I also get rid of the rain, which is nice. All right, and now I'm fairly confident that... I keep saying I'm fairly confident. I'm just not. I should really stop saying I'm confident. I'm not confident. Okay, if I parting shot this Kyogre, which I should be able to, I can heavy slam KO the Grimmsnarl. Grip breaks. As I get an attack boost. There's the Tornadus. Uh, I'm still going to go for the parting shot. And the protect here. My teeth are chittering. I'm so I'm so scared, bro. I'm so scared. <laughs> the water spout. I should eat that? Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. There's the pot and shot. 
the pot and shot. Okay. And now, now, he hasn't revealed taunt yet. I can give him the old one, two. Here's, here's how I give him the one, two. He's gonna, oh, I died. Forgot about hail. Okay. I'm gonna go Incineroar here. And assuming he thinks I'm gonna fake out, um, I'm gonna parting shot the Tornadus and go for an Icicle Crash into it. Cause he just hurricanes and kills me. Okay, GG. <laughs> GG. All right, that, that's that's about as much effort as I'm willing to put into an Acrosma team. Let's, uh, I've been drinking a lot of water after use the bathroom again, but let's let's use, uh, let's, let's, let's team build around a Pokemon I wanna team build around now. And hopefully we'll have better results because that was, <laughs> that was not a fun experience, guys. Don't ever make me use Necrozma again.